Hi everyone and welcome to module number five for ME83, Computational Mechanical Engineering Lab. So topics within our module five, you do have your fourth lab, which is going to deal with our lab displacement contact. Now this assignment will be submitted through Blackboard the same way as labs one, two, and three. Now taking a look at our assignment due dates, this lab number four has been posted to Blackboard and is available. This will be due on Sunday by the end of the day on the 5th. Now a reminder, we do have recitation hours that are scheduled for Tuesdays from 5.05 p.m. till 5.55 p.m. on Teams. Now, these are mandatory, and this is your opportunity to meet with your other classmates, your team members, work through your homework assignments, ask any questions you have as you're going through the labs, and to also get together to work on your group projects. Now, as we get into the details for what we're discussing for our topics for module five, this again has to deal with your fourth lab. Lab number four is large displacement contact. So within this assignment for your module five and your lab four, a large displacement study will be created and used to evaluate a two-part assembly. Now within this lab, a prescribed displacement is going to be applied to one end of the assembly, whereas you're going to have fixed conditions that are going to be applied at the other end. Now you're going to have a friction contact, and this is going to dictate the interaction between the two assembly components. Once you've completed this assignment for your lab number four, I'm going to ask you again to create a document, either Word or PDF, that contains your results. And this is going to be submitted as your deliverable for this assignment. This is nothing new, the same thing you've done for your first three labs as well. And it, just as those first three labs, this will be submitted on Blackboard for that assignment. So now let's take a look at the objectives for our module number five. So within this module, you will be completing that fourth lab, your lab number four, dealing with the topic of large displacement contact. Now, before you begin this lab, I highly encourage you to read through the grading rubric, as well as go through all the material from this module and the previous modules. That way you understand exactly what we're asking for in this report. So once you've done that and completed the assignment, I am going to have you generate a report, again, as a Word or PDF, if I recommend the PDF format for uploading, and then answer any questions related to this lab. And then once that's completed, submit this as an assignment through Blackboard the same way you have for labs one, two, and three. And again, your required readings and viewings for this module number five, asking you to read through all the materials that I've provided on Blackboard for module five, as well as all the materials for the first four modules previous to this that are on Blackboard as well, because again, this material all does build upon itself. And as you move forward, what you'll notice with these labs is they'll be giving you less and less information from the very beginning of this lab assignment as compared to the previous labs. So they're expecting that you've learned how to do some things in labs one, two, and three, and not gonna be holding your hand through that on lab number four. So that's where it's gonna be important to go back and review the previous material from those previous labs. Now let's take a look at our semester schedule, see where we're at, what we've completed, and what we have coming up. So you can see now we have completed those first four modules. We're on to our module number five out of 10 for the semester. You've completed your first three lab assignments, and now we're on to our fourth lab assignment. So you can see for our module five, this is gonna span over two weeks, weeks six and seven of the semester. You can see our dates associated with this here. And the topic we're gonna to be dealing with over these two weeks for module five is this large displacement contact. You can see the assignment is your lab number four, and this will be due on the fifth by the end of the day. So a reminder as always, these assignments are due by Sunday at the end of the day. 